Hello, Lucina. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Taylor. Good morning. Good morning, Elder Good Morning, Victor. So I think it's five after the hour. So I should just start. Sure, sounds good. Go ahead and get started. Okay, so you're you're going to share your screen or I should I just share it? Uh you can share your screen. Okay. Right here. Um Let's see. I think that you, you can see my screen, right? Yes. Perfect. So I was just checking what you have been done the last few weeks. Um, so regarding events, um, did you attend like the, the, I, as far as I understand, those, those events were, were in Texas, right? Uh, 
the Connect America and Private 5G. Do you have the opportunity to attend uh, those events, Sailor, or? Um, if you're speaking, probably you're, you're mute. <laughs> I was, and uh, I did not attend. The t The second one was actually Telecom TV. It was online. Got it. Um, Connected America. I don't recall where that was exactly, but I didn't go to those. Nice. We can mark them off as done, though. Perfect. So and also I, I noticed that you, you also mentioned about the next next coming um meetings like uh so any 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 decisions on that? I mean I'm I'm okay with after the QCon, so we can still keep it just in case. But I know I don't know the rest of the team they, they want to keep it. I know that some of them but still recovering from the KubeCon, so um, I'm okay to cancel the next two meetings and probably leave this as tentative. So probably Tom can suggest something, but I can. I yeah I I'm not available for the the week after KubeCon. Okay. Um. So unless you and Tom want to move forward on it, I think a lot of people are going to be out. So you think that it it would be much better to cancel it instead of. I think we should probably cancel it and then the week after we can have updates. Open Compute is also happening the same week as KubeCon. So if those people are less likely to join something on the following Monday. Um, the people who couldn't come probably want to get an update, but they can wait two weeks. So yeah, sure, let's cancel it. Uh, and also, like the other thing that I was thinking is like we are going to have the the gathering event, so probably, yeah, too much of oh, that can be necessary. Probably, yeah, let's let's do the sync after that that week. That is in May, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so May first. May first. Be the next one. Yeah, is is that May first? Yeah, May first. Sounds good. Yeah, we have a couple wow. things there. So we're canceling the rest of April. <laughs> okay well i don't remember doing this in a prior year but i guess everything has lined up this way with the conference and everything conference yeah, also, holidays yeah and also the holiday the instant week was like nice concept it is what it is like <laughs> So I'm assuming that regarding the, the, the events, um, you're you're going to the you and Lucina also going to the KubeCon. Um, what about you, Ildiko? Are are you attending the KubeCon? Okay, I guess she's attending.
Um, the next coming uh, events are um, after the KubeCon. All of these are virtual, right? Like the Telecom TV and the only event that we have in person is the Open Source Summit. I don't see any new um, event added, added to this list. Uh, that that basically we're we're we haven't had anything yet, right? Like uh, we're still keeping the same the same events, right? Um, what, what do you mean? Um, no change in them, I guess. Yeah, I haven't seen any any change in the last few weeks. So I'm I'm assuming that we we still have the same the same events. Yeah, and... same set of events. I think the maybe the main thing would be the informal. I don't know if we should call it a buff anymore. Just informal telco gathering. Mm -hmm. We say that on your thing. What do we call it? Telco community gathering. Let's just update those words. Telco gathering. Informal. Telco. This looks like a mess. There we go. This one right here. Yeah, we have we're we've reserved that co working place. Taki Taki. Okay, that was that was the last one. Okay, it is like a a minute walking right from the Ray. Right, I I think um, I'm gonna drop something in here so. I think it's, we'll just say six to seven minute walk. The, the map that they gave us a, a walking map, we asked like what it what was the best path and they, I think it was showing about seven minutes. Mm -hmm. And regarding the attendance list, uh, how many people has uh, confirmed 20, 25? or more? How many people has shown interest on attending the, the gathering? Over 30 RSVPs. Wow. Yeah, that's a good number. Mm. Okay. Um, so I don't know, you want to say something else about this or like just moving forward to see the pull requests or the issues that we have open? Uh, let's see. As far as the telco gathering, um, we need to, we've kind of in, said it's going to be lightning talks. Uh, uh, some time or whatever available for maybe open discussion and then working session and of course if if we decide we could do something where you know if some people want to just talk and s some are doing the working session or whatever the lightning talks I think might be the part where we need to make sure people understand uh, what that is 
Mm-hmm. So we want to keep it to under five minutes per talk. So we need to put, maybe put that up uh, as a, a main thing so people come prepared. If people come with a half hour talk and thinking they're going to have that amount of time and and are required to do five minutes, may not go as well. Um, other than that, just making sure the time is, is set for that. Uh, I think it's just publicizing it. So we need to make sure and put that out on LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever else, try to get any other signups. I think we have a max of 50 right now for the place. If if we had a big interest, we'd need to increase the number with the talkie talkie. Mm-hmm. Let them. But if we fill up to 50, it's probably a good number for managing a informal group in a setting that's you know, where we got to walk away from REI. So unless we get a huge demand, probably keep it at 50. We can probably communicate that. We have, we can get the exact number of uh, how many RSVPs that we have and it's a max of 50. So if you want to come, you better um, sign up soon. So that's something that we could do there. Just in case that someone wants to participate as a lighting talk or any any presentation, so they need like a, to to mention. I mean, are they going to have like a mic, a projector, or or some some material to use it, or like just free speech uh, advertising their ideas, or how, how do you want to communicate that, like? For the, as far as the venue, we're going to have a capability to do present on something. Mm-hmm. As far as the presenters go, I, I'm okay with whatever someone wants to do. So I think if, if we don't have talks ahead of time, uh, or let me put that a different way. We can decide how much time that we're going to have just for lightning talks versus discussion and everything. And then I would like to give the capability for people to just sign up mm-hmm. right there. Um, so if someone comes up and says, hey, I want to talk about, you know, NFIO for two minutes, some something new or whatever well they can they can do that and if that just means standing up and talking about something fine if they want to present on a screen they can do that Uh, just give a slot for uh, for the lightning talk on whatever topic they want to do that's yeah. my thoughts on it. So kind of whatever they want to do. If they have a whiteboard and they just want to draw pictures, we'll see how it goes. But ha- have you been to the the lightning talks type of thing in the past where people can walk in and just write their name on a on a board or whatever and the topic and and they just when they get going, it's just whatever set of talks. I've where none of it's done beforehand. It's all like just live. Have you done this in the past? No, no, no. No, usually what I have been is like a places where they have predefined the lighting talks. Um basically, yeah, they have their own schedule. So not nothing like the, probably like this. The so it's I'm taking that off of the birds of a feather. And when I was seeing those come up a long time ago, when I was uh, going to some of the conferences, they had like unconference, sometimes entire things that were saying, we're doing this different. But I, I did see birds of a feather sessions that were at various conferences 
and they would have no topics to find. You come in and and the people are gonna go up and, and talk and some of them are short, some are longer, but so it's kind of the idea. Also regarding those on conference uh, events, have you ever heard about these uh, reject? Uh, oh conference? yeah, for sure. Okay, so, so I don't know if we should just mention that this is not like kind of this event, <laughs> like, I, I, so, so basically uh, this garden event is not like us trying to give a second chance for, for the rejects of the telco day or like, I mean, I, I, I'm okay with someone coming over that was rejected. They're only going to get up to five minutes though. So okay. if they had a, you know, a, a 30 minute or 45 minute talk, and they can turn that into a five minute, then they can come. If if they can't, then we need to, yeah. I wanna make sure that so, someone, we can decide on this, someone needs to be the timekeeper mm -hmm. during these talks. And whenever you know we hit five minutes, and use a chess timer or whatever we need to do, then we stop. They're they're done, and we need to cut the mic. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. yeah, but these these folks are you know welcome. It, it I think we need to get push for the RSVP. Um, I think the form may say five minutes at this point, but we need to make sure that the form has that, the documentation um, on GitHub um page and everything else says these are for gonna be birds of feather you can tell us your talk ahead of time or you can submit it then but it's five minutes yeah i don't there we go working session birds of feather i think we decided like agenda is going to be birds of feather first and then it'll probably be open discussion and then working session something like that we talked about that somewhere else um, with tom i think and oh there's some more stuff oh yeah some proposed topics of interest so if if people from the rejects conference if they want to come and and talk for five minutes or during the open discussion, that's totally fine. Got it. Um, but it'll be a, it's going to be a max of 50 unless, you know, we get some overwhelming amount. We can decide if, um, if we get more, if we need to increase or, you know, if it's 51, then try to work that out. If we get a hundred people interested, we'll have to make a call if, are we gonna they do have space for more but we would need to request and they probably shift us to a different room or something at the place um they do have drinks there alcoholic and non-alcoholic i don't remember if there's like any food snacks it seems like there was at least snacks And also, I mean, we have to define the date, the date, but uh, regarding the starting and ending hour, do we mm -hmm. have do we have some some idea? Like, I mean, yeah, um, I it doesn't say there, but I think um, it may already say in the form. I don't I don't know where we put it, but two to five is the idea. Yeah, probably. I have a question about these topics for discussion. So if they have five minutes to speak, will there be any time for Q&A or discussion in between each five minute talk? Yeah, and also, and also no. to be well, honest, five minutes is, 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 I mean, is, is very short time. Yeah, these are not big presentations or with big, huge Q&A, these are, it's, Here's 
little snippets of things going on that people need to concisely communicate. If they want a Q&A, then they need to leave time within their five minutes. So no time after for q and I guess they... I'm looking at some of the um, brief descriptions of their discussion, and some people want to have an open discussion about topics. So when do you think those would be, when do you think there'd be a time for those? Mm -hmm. For example, open discussion over a camera exposure gateway. And... Um, yeah, what is the perception? This is very open. Mm -hmm. And engagement with Silva. Those are kind of more discussion items than bullet points. So that can be after the five, I'm sorry, after the birds of a feather lightning talks. So we can, we need to decide um, on that. So we're, we're right now we're saying two to 5 p.m. So we could get started, um, you know, let's, I think keeping it short at the start, as far as like, hi, welcome to the informal gathering. It's, it's informal, so keep it short. Um, maybe like max of two to 210 or something for, hey, we're about to get started. Um, if we're saying two o'clock, people could be showing up right at two. So maybe the very first thing we could do is you know, a quick welcome and then say, we're about to start some lightning talks um, in a birds of a feather format. If you haven't signed up and you would like to talk, you get five minutes. You can go sign up over somewhere. Maybe you go online and submit the form or maybe literally have like, I don't know. I don't know if we want like a written paper or something. Probably something online. We have the um, etherpad. So maybe people can add it there. Anyways, we tell them here's where you go if you'd like to have a talk right now and then get started with those at 210. So 10 minute period for the welcome and here's what we're planning an agenda for the day. We're gonna do the birds of feather and then whatever is next. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe we just do 50 minutes, that's two to three. I don't know if we need any more, um, but it seems like that's enough time, 50 minutes of five minute talks, maybe too long. I, I mean, I've seen longer ones, so that could be fine. Um, so 50 minutes and then at three o'clock, we do uh, the open discussion and however long we want on that. Hmm. And then after that working session, I don't know, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, I don't know, like probably some topics could last more. I, I'm probably people are going to be more interested on in discussing those topics. Maybe yeah. others are, are more specialized and maybe no one is going to have anything to say, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what we want to do for sure, but it um, we could do the like table. I don't know what it's going to look like, but we could basically have tables for discussions and they could ha happen concurrently. So it's not, you're not presenting, you're not getting to go up there. The discussion is a, a set up in a format where you have a topic and people are sitting together and um, getting to contribute all together versus just one person or group talking to everybody. 
and we could potentially have multiple open discussion topics happening at the same time at different tables and mm -hmm. then people just go where they want of course there may be one topic where you know 40 people are all together but i i don't i don't no, see that I, as a major problem go ahead no and also what what I could be interesting is like if there is a way to capture all these discussions like um maybe i mean maybe i don't know if creating like etherpad and putting all these ideas there like uh, i mean just not only for the people who are attending like trying to be in all the discussions but also like for maybe for um non attendees like having the opportunity to read some notes or or ideas were were discussed during the, the gathering event. Yeah, because uh, I mean it's great to to discuss things and and present mm -hmm. ideas and uh, you know do a kind of brainstorming. But it should be nice if we can capture all, all these things and somehow or in a place where they can be revisited later and. where we can continue beyond or, or or what are you what are you saying yeah like like for example like um i don't know like let's say for example this bright 5g with, with a raspberry pi topic so may, maybe someone has been done a work on this and has some examples or like um maybe someone else can present the the, the use case or whatever so all all those things uh, i think eventually it would be nice if 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 we can capture names or um or see the pros and cons of this topic um because if we are going to have like a three or four talks or discussions happening simultaneously so yeah it's going to be a, a kind of frustration to try to cover all at the same time. Uh, do you want something beyond the etherpad where we're going to have shared notes? We're planning on having that. And okay. um, no, if, if you were planning to have it, that's that's right. I, I didn't know that you have. That oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so. Let's see. Um, we haven't put it in here because we were, it's going to be a, I think Tom created the etherpad. There we go. I think I found it. Um, I'm going to send it to you in Zoom chat. We're not wanting to post it on, we weren't wanting to post it on the meeting notes link because etherpad is going to be by default allow anybody to go in and start typing. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we put it in, we may end up with spam. The earlier we do, so we we can decide when we want to put it. Um, I I don't think it's as big a deal since the birds of a feather is we're going to allow anybody to put the topics in. But anyways. Um, this is what we had and the idea was you know put the agenda or whatever we can have people put topics and then we can actually put notes right in here of course we could if we want we could put them somewhere else but that was the thinking right now okay yeah this, this does that work for something that you're thinking yeah yeah definitely definitely that's that's great all right. And then, you know, if we have a, a topic or anything that comes out of this that we think someone is interested in continuing, then, you know, we can open tickets or whatever. There's a, can you go ahead and click on the markdown or go to that markdown page? I don't know if that's a clickable link. This one? Yeah. Yeah, so that's just, you know, the main thing. We need to make sure it's updated, the where it is or whatever. 
but we can always update this after to have, well, number one, we can link to the etherpad so people see the notes, but we can also put the, here's the topics that were discussed. And I think, yeah, the open discussion working group. Yeah, I think that goes to our forum area. Is that where it is or is that, I don't know what that is. What is that link? It goes here? Yeah, just. Well, Anyways, click on discussions at the top. Yeah. Yeah, we have that. So we can also put stuff in there. I think we have enough places that we can keep the conversations going on topics that are inter of interest. Yeah. Maybe one of the things that we can take advantage is finally define some glossary terms. I mean, taking taking the advantage that most of the attendees are going to be um, telco expertise. Okay. So maybe we can create like a draft for them and redefine in, in here. But yeah, probably that could be my proposal. Like. <laughs> Especially the, for the CNCF, uh, CNCF, sorry, CNF. And so we can start putting like a draft here and maybe finalize the definition during the, during the gathering. Anyway. Um, we can invite or at least inform the glossary folks in Slack that we're planning on doing this. Um, you know, it may be possible some people come from there, but. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if, if there's some terms we have, I think we may have some stuff that we listed in another document as ideas. This definitely is doesn't have all the content that we've put together. Might be in the planning document. I can't remember. No, it's not there. Mm. Okay. Um, anything else about the the, the gathering? Um, I think that most of the things have been defined, right? Um, perfect. Um, so do we have a, any issue or PR open for? No pull request. Um, it the, I guess a lot of open issues. Well, there's a good amount of them that are the best practice proposals, and hopefully we'll make some progress um, during the working sessions. I guess if we do have some time, maybe we can. You and I are, could work on some if you have any time. Pick one of them. I can't remember which one we were focused on last time, but we have a bunch of working documents. So, mm -hmm. yeah, probably the only one who has I checked it was the likeness proofs. Um, I don't know if someone has, someone else has mentioned something or. Um, we split it up. So there's this, there's two documents now, right. readiness and liveness. Yep. And all the red is just example content that needs to be replaced. Mm -hmm. And then we, yeah, we have all the 
parameters I think you were suggesting. There will be something similar for the readiness. Okay, yeah, at least there's some progress. Yeah, a bit of progress. We had talked about taking some stuff for onboarding CNS, um, which would be like deployment practices, automation and other stuff. Um, and looking at NFIO and, and things, I don't, know, I don't know if you've made any progress there on highlights that might turn into best practices that we could write up, but if so, we could at least get some issues in place around here's a onboarding best practice that should be that we recommend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the, for those ones, I, I think that uh, I don't know, like maybe it's too early or to start like um, defining best practices, but at least we can start collecting. Um, some information about don'ts and, and do's. Yeah. Uh, hmm. you have any best practices for us, Ildiko? Uh, sorry, I was a little distracted. Best practices on? For CNFs, any. Oh. <laughs> well, I... Uh... I'm still more on the infrastructure layer, so. Um, We're collecting those too. I think there's gonna start to be an expansion into, we'll just call it full stack best practices mm -hmm. for Kubernetes. Okay. Uh, I need to think about that. I don't, from the top of my head, it's sometimes it's kind of hard to collect CNF specific items because when people talk about infrastructure, they tend not to talk about it just from a CNF scope. So sometimes it's hard to say what's a CNF best practice versus what's a generic infrastructure best practice, if that makes sense. But I'll wrap my head around it. Sounds great. Are, are you gonna make it to the, telco, the informal telco gathering at KubeCon? No, I will not make it to KubeCon itself. Um, maybe the uh, North America one in the fall. All hopefully. right. What about the open source uh, summit in Vancouver? Uh, I will be at the open source summit. Nice. So um, I can participate in things um, in there, but um, KubeCon got out of my um, opportunities for the spring unfortunately but if there's if there's any part that will be remotely available i'll look into that okay and uh, any of your colleagues um coming to kubecon that we might chat with during telco day or tell them about the telco gathering I have a few colleagues attending. Um, I will let them know when and where things are, and then they can um, figure it out if they can fit it into their schedule. They don't have a specific taco focus. All right. But if they have been with, then at least one of them might be able to pop by. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, uh, and on the informal gathering, just, you know, if they're interested and want to come and be part of that, uh, want to get the RSVs, our RSVPs in since that's, we're, we're hosting it, which means trying to set it up. Right now we have um, Deutsche Telekom, Orange, Huawei, Verizon, Vodafone, a bunch of different ones, um, Nokia, all of RSVP'd for that one. So hope, oh, and I, I haven't looked, I'm sure there's other companies. There's a bunch of Gmails and Hotmails and stuff that I, I don't know who they're from, but um, I think it should, 
that one should be pretty interesting as well. I'm hoping. Awesome. I'll let them know. Definitely. Thanks. Yeah. And, you know, if things go well with all of this and try to get, we want to get sponsorships for the Telco Day North America. And then it, maybe we can, with sponsorship, we can get it expanded to a full day, which means we don't have to split it up. And we'll decide on the format based on, you know, feedback from the other stuff. If if people really like the birds of feather, maybe we'll have that as part of Telco Day. Yeah, I, I think that would be nice. I mean, I remember the the Telco Day or well Half Day in Detroit, and it had pretty good interest. I I'm kind of sure that the the room would have stayed um, nicely attended if we had a full day too. And I think birds of a feather sessions are always beneficial. I always like when we have the opportunity to encourage the people in the room to, to speak up as opposed to just listening to presentations. Yeah, I totally agree. The hope is some of the lightning talks might, you know, someone may have something real new, but it's not ready for a big presentation, but it's it's in an area that people are interested in, and that may lead right into the open discussions. And, um, you know, we may have open discussion and working sessions coinciding. So, fingers crossed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, it seems like it is pretty much. The only thing that we have for, for today. Um, so uh, probably we can end this this minute uh, now and give it back ten minutes or or at least uh, or you if you have anything else to discuss, um, just speak now and. Okay. Um, well, seems like it is all. So see you on KubeCon or maybe um, in May. All Thank right. you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Sounds Thank good. You. Thank you. Safe travels and happy Easter and all those kind of things. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.